Hey, it's Kevin Dewitt here, and welcome back to the Pasties Prime YouTube channel, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, where we are up to mission 11 of the Sin and Sacrifice DLC, and I think this could be the last mission. So I'm just jumping this free ship that we got at Artemis across there because it's the only place it can go. Not for any real point other than just to send it over there. We've already got the Daedalus over here because they jumped to Ragnar uh, in the last mission. And, well, we can check out the story to see what it's going to say to us. The Cylons have always avoided us when we're anchored at Ragnar. I assumed it had to do with the storm clouds interference. Feels like a flimsy excuse to hide behind now. We'll hold here and regroup for as long as we can. Hopefully, we'll draw Cylon forces away from Helios Alpha and give the colonies there an opportunity to form some measure of resistance. We should find Galactica and force a fight closer to the H2 colonies. We still have allies who want to help. We could double our fleet at Scorpia alone. No. The colonies have a year to make this better. We can't risk the little peace they have. They betrayed you! They left us to die over Toron! We don't owe them. We don't have to play nice for them. We do owe them, Lieutenant. We failed in our mission. No, I failed in my mission. You and the Commander did everything possible to bring this war to an end. The failure rests on my shoulders alone. I don't think any of us could have done differently. We're programmed to expect a fair fight. Even against overwhelming odds, we're still Colonial Fleet. To the end, Admiral. So say we all. So say we all. Yeah, so we've got to defend the Daedalus. The Cylons have previously been reluctant to interfere with Colonial Fleet operations at Ragnar due to the electromagnetic fields produced by the Iron Eye storm clouds. Whether they will continue to hold back Latchis' forces is unknown. Right, so there really isn't anything to do uh, other than to just go for it and see what happens and hope we survive. So we are going to proceed with Mission 11, Ragnar Assault. Now, I don't know how long we have to survive. Be interesting to see if it tells us it never did before. Okay, so. Yeah, we're just in a gas cloud here. That's fine. Alright, we've got our fleets in position, I think. Still tempted to move this forward a little bit more. Okay, what do we want now? Do we want to stick with the missiles or go for nukes? I'm thinking missiles because we still don't know how long this mission goes for and it's, you know, long. It's not about getting rid of one or two ships. This is about potentially surviving a period of time. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go. Very uh, ethereal music. In three, two, is that one. to build up the gas cloud atmosphere, is it? Now, does this damage us? Jump complete. There's already Cylon units on the board. I hope we haven't made a mistake leaving Clothos up here. I am not your enemy, Lieutenant. Lachesis has found and destroyed the last of my reversions. I am all that is left, and as much a fugitive of the Cylon Empire as you. Set Condition 1 throughout the fleet. Engage all hostiles with extreme prejudice. We will make Lachesis think twice before coming to Ragnar again. Oh, 
Okay. Let's start. Uh, should we go defend or go straight to attack? Alright, let's launch our squadrons. Let's focus fire on that one to start with. Alright, now we'll get you guys and guess we'll turn a bit. Drop a bit. Understood. And in the turn. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Dratus contact. Hostiles have multiple bearings. Mm-hmm. They sure do. Okay. Jupiter. Turn your... No. Alright, let's get... Hang on, how do we want to do this? We need some detection here. Right, I want you two... Go to that one. You three... Go to that one. You two... Go to that one. You two. Go to that one. Alright, we won't turn the flak on yet. What we will do is get a torp on that and a torp on that. I'm just going to go for the back ones. I'm going to just hope the back ones are big ships that don't move much. We'll see. Target is 3 4 by 9 9. Optimizing firing solution. Firing solution is online. We're going to okay. hammer the frackers so they can't get back up. Yeah, that's going to hit. That is going to hit. Okay. All right, drop down. Uh, still can't see, so we'll flak. Oh, guys, get out. Why are you so slow? Okay. Oh, I can't do anything about the flak then. Uh, hang on. We need to slow these down because... Bloody Jupiter. Okay, it's one thing I really hate about the Jupiter. It is so slow, I can't get it to uh, go where I want it to go. Yeah. What are these three? Okay, I'm going to actually get you to quickly take out that. Updated. Target acquisition maintained. Oh, for God's sakes, this is going to be a nightmare. Isn't contacts. It? Multiple bearings, all closing distance. The storm clouds aren't slowing them down. They have no option. Either they risk sickness and injury here, or capital punishment for insubordination, suicide, or execution. Not much of a choice. How many will Latches send out here? This is just the beginning, Admiral. Victory at any cost. Hmm. Okay, well, this is gonna be really fun then. Uh how many war drivers have we got now? Okay, you What are you targeting? Are oh, you targeting that? 
Okay, I guess that's fine. Let's drop. Okay, now. Can you turn your flak on now? Please do. Can these get through the flak? Okay, I'm not too worried about talons. I am worried about that. Okay, Ranger. Let's hit up a faux boss. Let's torp that one. Guided missile. Hit that one. Torp the Talon. You... Yeah, we'll throw some missiles at that. Throw another lot at that. Okay, what are you guys doing? Okay, uh, we need you, you, and you. You select. That one. You, you, you. You select. Yeah, we need to discover them in a minute. That one. You. You go find that. Uh, yeah, fine. Fire at them. And you two. Go that back one. Here we go. Target after this. We gotta lose this out of it. Just turn you around a lot. Actually, you're probably. Hang on, let me rethink that. Unfortunately, you're going to get hit by the flak. Oh, there's a bomb coming. I don't think we can take much more of it. No, nah, you're dead. Reloading. Adam, it's gone. That's a big bomb. 
More Cylon contacts. We're being outgunned from all sides. <laughs> Thanks for that. Your comment was well appreciated. Have a look at the health. Okay, hit you. Torp. Oh, for God's sakes. Torp you. Guided. You. Torp. Focus far on you. What are you guys all doing? Yeah, it's fine at the moment. Adjusting shot by point one seven. Fire. Target More contacts, all hostile. We've... This is too much. Even out in the frontier colonies. We can't hold off this many. Sound the evacuation alarm. Admiral, we don't have an option. We have 3,000 people on board this station and they don't all need to die along with it. I want every FTL-capable shuttle and Raptor packed and launched now. Sir, we've never... We've never planned to evacuate Daedalus. We could jump, find another location to fortify. No. They will just chase Daedalus wherever we take her. This was our last gambit. Ragnar's fury has not slowed them. Nothing will. They can't be stopped. Sound the evacuation, Lieutenant. All stations set controls to automatic and evacuate the station. This is not a drill. All stations evacuate. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, so I'm thinking we turn. Now, if I turn like that, is a flak going to be a problem? Only possibly... For this one. So maybe we cancel your flak. So that's gonna go. That Phobos is not. But we're gonna hit that instead. The Jupiter. You're on that side, so you hit the Phobos. It's all... No, can't do anything with you. Right, what are you guys doing? Nah, don't bother. Hang on. You guys... Go for the Phobos. And you guys all go for... Go for that war driver. Uh, and you are already focus firing something. Frack, we haven't even got jump coordinates ready. The Raptors will take a dozen jumps to get to the nearest colony. Leave that to me, Lieutenant. Your crew will have jump coordinates to Scorpia as soon as they launch from the hangar bay. Commander, have the fleet cover the evacuation zone. Then once the station is cleared, tell them to scatter jump. Where do we set the regroup zone, sir? We don't.
All right, so you are going to turn flak on, on that side. You're going to do it quickly because there is bloody missiles coming. So turn a little bit. Okay. Uh, focus fire on that sucker. Have we got anything that can shoot? Yes, you. Hang on. Oh, that's going to die. So, we'll get you to target that torp. Top that talon. Yes, Commander. And yeah, that'll do. Missiles incoming. Yeah, I know. I can fly on. Adamant is taking damage. Uh, they go for the adamant. Oh, the adamant Friendly is down. dead. So we've lost both adamants. I don't know if it matters anyway. Oh god. Please don't hit So say we all. Don't hit the Daedalus. Okay, there's lots of fighters out there. Oh man, I think I'll just let them all fight what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Oh, that's... Nuke uh, incoming! Okay, there's a nuke coming. Okay, how long do we have to wait? I can't shoot at anything. I could talk. It's about as good as I can get. Missed. Missiles incoming. Oh, seriously, come on. So we got to wait for all these evac evacuees, do we? Yes, Commander. So okay, thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> thanks for the confirmation. Okay, we can see that. Is that all we can see? Missile tubes prepped. Yep. Squadron has gone dark. Artemis is taking damage. 
Yeah, I can see that. Daedalus is taking damage. From what? Oh my god. Do we seriously have to wait for all of these to leave? I don't know if we can live. I don't know if we can make it. Look how many bloody units there are. on that one. Understood. Sure, go for that. Almost all stations have evacuated, sir. You and the commander need to get to the hangar. That's not how this works, Helena. This is my station, my command. You should go now. Go find your sister. I... I can't. Daedalus never had its launch bay control agent updated. I've had to clear them all manually from here. Those last raptors are waiting for me to clear their launch. That's it, then. Set blast doors for when the commander has gone, and prepare for hostile borders. By your command. Okay, wait for the Dudless crew to evacuate. Alright, well, until what? You know, there's not much I can do here. Understood. Okay. Yeah, we'll top something else. That'll Missiles do. Missiles on their way. Fighters, they're going for that. These guys are still trying to fight off some sort of fighters. Artemis is taking damage. Go, go, go! Alert squadron, keep 36 by 82 three for flash protection. Come on, crew, you're killing me. I saw a fighter coming towards us. Let's try and target it. Was it that one? 
No. That one. We're running out of health. If you intend to save the lives of your fleet, I would advise you to do so now. Colonial Fleet, this is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus Fleet Group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial Fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. Protect your families. Protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. Oh, okay. Well, we made it. Did we watch the replay? That was quite long. I guess we'll do a quick one. Well, yeah, it's the last one. Let's go. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Target is 34 by 99. Optimizing firing solution. Firing solution is online. We're going to hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Now, if I, I had the ability to more. jump in every fleet that I had on every planet, Reloading. I wouldn't have had any trouble at all. I could have destroyed them all. But obviously, that's not the story. Adjusting shot by point one seven. Fire. Keep your target locked and watch the clearance. One shot. Just give me one good shot. Some of the captains complied with Kane's orders and jumped from Ragnar. Others stayed behind and died. The heavy raiders soon followed. The blast doors only held for a few moments. The Centurions breached the CIC soon after. Kane fought with the fury of a Valkyrie. The roar of her shotgun echoes in my memories still. In this moment, 
This brief whisper of a moment, I remembered it all. My family, my sister abandoned on Galactica. The confidence I felt in Kane, even in that exact futile moment. The failed experiment that was Colonial Fleet. My regret that I had not done something, just one thing, different. Colonial Fleet has changed since Daedalus, cleansed in the flames of Galactica's rebirth, a different doctrine, with a different outlook on the war. Lachesis landed in Helios Alpha. There was fighting, ever more fighting. Resistance was built on the promise of freedom and revenge. The ceasefire expired, and the twelve tribes of man once more united. Once more they faced the enemy they had built with their own hand. And perhaps, most importantly, a different assessment of their allies, held at arm's length, and accountable for their actions. A lesson hard learned by some, by us. Even Lachesis, indomitable and unbending, heeded the parable of Daedalus. In time, all empires must fall. Well, there you go. That is the end of another part in the story. Um, I don't know if that shot there was supposed to be her. What's her name? Helena? Was that her about to die? Uh, obviously, Clothos was fighting alongside her. Um, which is interesting enough. And obviously, Cain, uh, I'm assuming, is dead by that whole thing. So, that is that. Now, I guess next, uh, from my understanding, next we're talking about Resurrection. And, well, I guess, I assume they're in order. Okay, yeah, it says, It's been three years since the fall of Daedalus, when Galacta was granted during the bombardment of Caprica City. BSG-75 has been reformed and the crew of Galactica headed by Commander Silas Nash are eager to rejoin the front line of the Solemn War. So this is going to be interesting because does that mean that now that all that happened, this was, I mean, partly obviously to do the story, but partly was it the game's way to also wipe out all of your fleets? So basically we're going to start again. Uh, with nothing and yeah I guess that's going to be the interesting part but that's where we're going to go in the next video I guess we'll be starting Resurrection and continue on with our lovely uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock series so as usual if you like what i'm doing and you want to support the channel check out the description below you'll see a link you can buy me a virtual coffee if you so choose uh please like the video give it the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon if you want to be notified uh every time i release a new video most importantly, leave a comment to let me know what you think of the series, let me know what you think of the game, suggest any other games, chat about anything, give me any tips, any advice, uh, without giving me spoilers, of course. Uh, I read all the comments, and I answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and this DLC. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.